Computer overload caused this? A magical quantum computer. They were running the system, encountered some corrupted code, and it fritzed. Attention! Officer on deck! And this is our core observation facility. Now, the system runs too hot to watch in person, but if you turn your attention to the monitors, we can give you quite a show. Mr. Hoskins, power it up, please. Yes, Doctor? Now, the new material allows for computing capacity tens and tens of thousands times faster than what we have now. So are we talking artificial intelligence? No, that's the software problem. This is raw computing power. More appropriate for battle analysis, it'll run millions of simulations of what could happen, predict the future with 99% accuracy within a single second, or this test will map a 3D space and use it to model quantum teleportation. What is it? What's happening? It's an overload in the quantum field. Well, shut it down now. It's not responding. This is an overload in the facility. Quantum computing. I mean, that is like the holy grail of computer technology. I never thought I'd live long enough to see it work. Yeah, I'm more interested in the rock. I mean, I'm pretty good with precious gems, but I don't recognize this one. So it's a newly discovered natural form of graphene. That can't be right. In order to overcome quantum decoherence, it would have to be a superconducting graphene that had the properties of both a solid and a Bose-Einstein condensate. A what? Nothing. No. I was just theorizing what it would take for a chunk of graphene to solve quantum computing. But you just described the precise physical qualities of Atlantean phonotype. So DARPA, a top secret high-tech research lab, is messing around with something Atlantean? I don't follow. No, no, this, the misuse of this material is what destroyed Atlantis. You know, DARPA does terrifying enough things with science alone. Stealth bombers, military drones, internet comment sections. Okay, we need to recover this crystal. But quantum computing could change the world. The way Atlantis was changed? This magic is too dangerous to be left in the hands of the military. All right, people, listen up. This is not your run-of-the-mill mission. DARPA runs under strict military protocol. We go in, get the thermotype, we get out. No poking around, no wandering off, no opening things, no souvenirs. A computer overload caused this? A magical quantum computer. They were running the system, encountered some corrupted code, and it fritzed. <laughs> Quantum mechanics do play a crucial role in human consciousness. An overload in the quantum field could have created a superposition state that disrupts higher brain function, effectively turning people into... Rage people! Not calling them rage people. Okay, assume it is a quantum overload thing. How do we end it? We shut down the main computer, pull the Atlantean stone from the core, that will collapse the superposition. That should end the effect. Oh, finding the computer's gonna be a treat. This place is amazing. Yeah, schematics. Yeah. I'm looking for a coolant system. Those movie lines, it looks like a roadmap to what's hot in the buildings. If this place overheated, then what was that thing in the middle? Heavily shielded, fortified room. That's where we find the Techno Magic Mojo. Let's go. Okay. Loop. You're crazy. Crazy. So, on a scale of running from Minotaurs to Santa Claus is now our best mate of ours, where would time loop fall? A computer overload caused this? A magical quantum computer. An overload in the quantum field could have created a superposition state that disrupts local space time. Effectively creating a time loop. No, if we're all stuck here, why are you the only one that remembers it? I hmm? uh, was first one through the door, maybe something, something magic. We'll figure it out later. Assume we are in a time loop. How do we end it? Shut down the quantum computer, right? Yes. Collapse the superposition, it should end the effect. <gasps> That's leaking a lot of coolant. Atlantean thermotype. We remove it, and the quantum decoherence collapses the field, and the time loop should end. A computer overload caused this? A magical quantum computer. Computer, yes. And you said pulling out the crystal thingy was gonna shut the thing down and stop the rage people. Oh, consequences, this is real. Consequences, this is real. Okay, I'm not buying a computer overload traps us in a video game. The magical quantum computer. They were running the system, encountered some corrupted code, and then it fritzed. What code? I mean, every lab geek everywhere with access to a computer has put some kind of game onto it. Click the core database, downloaded the corrupted code from that game, then an overload of the quantum field could have created a superposition state that amplified virtual reality into actual reality, so we're not inside the video game. The video game is overriding reality. We went through the door at the moment of the overload, so we weren't affected. Yeah, we all went through the door. Why are you the only one that remembers it? Now it finally makes sense! <laughs> we're, we're here. We're back. <laughs> Ezekiel Jones gave his knife for us. If we reinitialize the system, we should be able to create a quantum field superposition state that can bring him back. He said it was a magnetic containment field. Put this back. It should realign itself. We're gonna be cool. He told me where to set off elsewhere. I can, I can access the plug controls. Okay. Here we go. Jones! You're alive. You're back. Back where? Back what? You don't remember anything? He didn't make it to the safe point. He's an unsafe game. Who are you people? We're librarians. Oh, thank God you're here. Jenkins thinks the DARPA personnel should make a full recovery. Oh, uh, yes. And now, with the Thomatite breakthrough in our possession, DARPA will have to develop quantum computing without cheating.